Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. And as you can see in the last episode, we finally managed to completely ball ourselves out. I mean, we fully completed Arma, we got an Armadil crossbow, we have all the Dragon Bolts, we got everything we could ever ask for. So in this episode, I guess we're gonna try to get as close to the tier 8 relic, but also continue our PVM challenges and try to complete as many things we haven't done yet as possible. That being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy today's episode. Let's get right into it. Alright, if you could guess from the intro, we're gonna start today's episode doing Kirill. He is my slayer task, I do need to get stuff of the dead from him, his god sword as well, but we already got the spear. Since the last time we did him, we got 99 defense, we also have better bolts, so I do believe, and better gear of course, so I do believe the kills should be quite chill. Okay, my favorite part just happened, so whenever I need to go, right, I just grab an axe from the bank, I go AFK a bit, get 3 wood cutting levels, then TP back here, TP back out, deposit everything I did, and then I can go back to PVEing. It's actually really chill, I really like my endless harvest, even though everybody flames it. Okay, so I need to kill one of these with melee, which might be a bit hard, because I might need a lot of zeros, because I'm using dark light right now, with armadillon. <laughs> I'm using full arm, I have negative bonus. Yeah, this is probably not gonna work, I'm just wasting my time, but like, it is what it is. Can I get hit or what? Jesus. Okay, wait, it actually worked. I genuinely didn't think it would work, but it worked. Nice. But before we continue on with the video, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Jawa. Jawa's mission is to be the community where great gaming gear is sold at reasonable prices between gamers and they want to put market in the hands of us by building the best place for us to discuss, buy and sell gaming gear. By simply going to their site right now, you will immediately be welcomed with their ultimate TechTuber gift guide, where popular tech YouTubers can help you with your holiday shopping on any budget. You can also participate in an $1800 PC giveaway. So at this point, you may be wondering, what makes Jawa so special? Firstly, Jawa has a ton of sellers listing graphics cards at a really affordable prices. Secondly, they have an individually curated group of verified sellers that will prepare and deliver you amazing pre-built computers at the best prices on the internet. And not only that, you can also sell your GPU directly to Jawa through their quick quoting system. So let's say I wanted to buy a new GPU. I could offset the cost by selling my current GPU directly to Jawa in a super convenient, fast and efficient way. If you want to get involved, Jawa has a community of over 8,000 members on Discord, where they will offer you a ton of buying and selling advice, but also troubleshooting assistance. So, if you want to skip the hassle of researching, buying and building a PC of your own, let one of Jawa's verified sellers build one for you. You can simply visit my link in the description to get started. And once again, thank you to Jawa for sponsoring today's episode. So the only problem with Kirill combat tasks is the fact that I cannot do one of them. I can do this one, where I kill him with all of his bodyguards being dead. I can also do this one, kill it a hundred times. This is the one I can't do, basically. Defeat Kirill in a privately rented instance whilst only using Demon Bane spells. I don't think I can actually do this. Which sucks, because I was actually trying to complete all the tasks possible. Privately rented instance without ever being hit by his bodyguard, that is doable. And then 20 times in a privately rented instance without leaving the room. I might go for this one, I honestly might just go for the Ash Collector. Get a nice little long run in and get it done. Okay, that should be an easy task where I kill him after all his bodyguards are dead, thank you. Ooh, there's another unique. Steam battle stuff. I don't think there's a task with this one, unfortunately. Everything else has a task but this item. I think I just did the... Uh, wait, what? What's a demon whisperer? I don't think I've done 20kc, so maybe I just haven't gotten hit by any demons. That would be huge if that is what happened, because I am not very good at flicking this. Kill Krill Tutsarok in privately rented instance without ever being hit. Okay. Yeah, so I did this Grandmaster task completely unintentionally. I killed him without getting hit by any of his bodyguards, which is, I would assume, pretty hard to do. Uh, but we did it accidentally, so we'll take it. Ooh, another God's Sword Shard 3. Those are pretty rare from the bosses, rarer than the actual items we want. But I'll take it. I have already fully completed this, but I'll take the dupes, I guess. I think that did it. I think that did 20 in a row. And uh, now I can finally do speed kills again, because this goes pretty slow. You need to wait one minute for the boss to spawn every time. 
Uh, but I'm just gonna kill everything just to make sure, you know, so I don't go out and then it's like, oh, it was a different task and I lose everything my entire half hour that I've been here. Uh, so we're gonna check and uh, I think it's gonna be all good. Now let's take a look. Kirill Tsutsaro, all we're missing is killing it 100 times and the one we unfortunately cannot do. Uh, very good, very good, happy. I'm doing these CAs pretty effortlessly with my relics. There is absolutely no way we just pulled a God Sword Chart 2 off a boss. Ay, ay, ay. I'm getting all the rare drops, just not the ones I need, man. And there it is. We finally finished every single combat achievement diary there is when it comes to Zami. I've also been killing just boss and this little guy to work on my Slayer task a little bit faster. Uh, but now, I do believe it is time to move on, do bigger and better things, and we will definitely be returning to this boss once I have the 5x multiplier. So, I will be pushing these 4000 points now. That is setting up a magic birdhouse. There we go, that's casting a search spell for 80. Okay, so here a couple of fast ones should happen. First we swap to the thingy, then we teleport to Moon Clan. Then we can teleport here, we can use the fertile soil on the herb patch, very nice. I believe by studying this lectern, I can also go ahead and make a Catherby teleport. There we go. 200 by the way, this one's a lot of points. Okay, nice, I can do this, cast a spellbook swap as well. How about we go on Ancients, bam. And we can also create the Gorog teleport tablet which is also 200 points, and all of a sudden, we're only 3k away. We're gonna be starting our questing spree to unlock the tombs of a mascot, which is something I wanna do in the very near future. So let's go ahead and start off with contact. Pretty sure I'm supposed to kill this guy, no? Yeah, that's a task. And that's gonna be contact completed, a little bit of thieving XP, a carries, and a combat land. We'll take this up to 74, and where can I use this? Attack strength, defense, hit points, ranged magic. Okay, so out of those, I guess just magic then. 112 magic XP, thank you. And now for the next quest, beneath curve sends, this one should take a little bit of time. All right, there we go. Beneath curved sands completed. We now also have the carries partisan and circle of water, which I don't really know what that's used for. We got a bunch of agility XP. I think we went from 70 to 77. Oi, oi, oi. All right, pretty decent. And we can now do TOA, which is like the most important part. Yeah, that, that's solid, honestly. This quest is much better than I remember it doing last time. So uh, not bad, 3000 points to go. Okay, so that's a call fight with carries partisan defeated. I'm also gonna take a quick stab at the call fight queen. Okay, and that's Calfight Queen defeated for more points. Thank you. Okay, this is this is really fast, 99. So I guess I'm doing 99 cooking next. Hey, there's the 99 cooking. 200 extra points. Let's figure out what I'm doing next. You may be wondering, what is this dude doing? Why is he spam buying bananas? Let me tell you, I need about 5.5k in total. I'm just gonna buy all of them now. I'm probably not gonna do the entire MTA right now. Okay, so here's why we bought all of the bananas. Uh, we can now get a bunch of points in the graveyard section of the MTA. So this basically just bypass every... Like, this is such an annoying grind, but now it's very easy. And it's actually not the worst XP either. Uh, you need about 5,500 bananas if you are on 8 times the rate, like I am. There we go, I think we went a little bit overboard. I think we need 2,675. Let's do some of the other rooms as well. I don't really know what the meta is for this room, but I just I just did this and it was quite fast, so I think I need only a thousand more points. And when it's a bonus, I just do the ones that it's a bonus for and that's it. Not gonna lie, for this room, I do not have the screen recording for it. Usually I just play it full screen, I zoom out like this, and I don't even move, I just run and grab. It's gonna take a little bit, not too long for what I'm trying to do, but uh, these two rooms get a little bit long though. And now for the last room, just do a bit of alchemy and we should be good. Okay, let's see, is this enough? 1240, I think this should be enough for now. Okay, let's take a look, where do we begin? I think I start with bones to peaches. Okay, that wasn't a task. Then we buy the cheapest infinity gear, which is going to be the boots, and we wear it, that's points. And then we buy Mage's Book, and that's points. And then we do Master Wand. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I probably don't have enough points for this. I did not know you needed to buy all of them, like bottom to up. Okay, I didn't know. Okay, and that is the master wand completed. How much was that? 80 points. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we do when we are on the phone, when we are chilling, when we're in bed, whatever. We go on mobile and we click on this and it AFKs for 25 minutes. And this is literally the reason why I took uh, Endless Harvest is because I plan on getting 50 million fishing experience in the length of this league. But uh, here should be the very first one, 99 fishing. We now are only 2000 points and 200 away from the relic. I just woke up, I'm gonna chill a bit and then uh, we're gonna grind some points, I guess. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. I decided to do 10 medium caskets quickly while figuring out my next steps of the plan. We are 2.2k away from the tier eight. Let's see if we get some uniques or something cool. Okay, start off with one, two, three, four, five, six, all uniques. Well, it's kind of crazy, actually. Oh my god, I got dupe ranger boots. There's... <laughs> I mean... Listen, I just woke up, right? But like... How many have we done? Nine mediums. And I have two ranger boots, by the way. Cabbage shield, I think I already have that one. There we go. Fill 20 medium clue collection log slots. That's gonna be some points. Might have been 200 points. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into this because there must be some tasks about equipping some of this stuff that we're getting. Uh, I think there's one for like prayer bonus and stuff like that. But it's so hard because like so much things go on the floor. I know for a fact I need to get pages. Pages are really good. A uh, little Pisarillius, Sardomin Miter. I think if you get like full top to bottom, this is called the vestment set. That's also a task. Oh, and there we go. Holy sandals as well. So if there is a task about equipping a lot of prayer bonus that's gonna come in handy gothic code as well that's a lot of prayer bonus there as well we still got three more gold elegant blouse and strength met these are so many uniques by the way collection log slots popping up like crazy this one no uniques i think and the last one we get another zami page i would love to finish a zami book for example but yeah pretty decent 10 opening Okay, let's just see if this is enough prayer by itself. Yeah, I see prayer bonus of 30 just like that as well. Beautiful. This is actually an interesting task. I do believe equipping a leaf bladed something must be a task, so we might as well do it. Also, if we go into rewards, I have 705 points, meaning that I'm super close to buying rune pouch. I know it's a bit of a jump into what we're doing, but maybe we should do this. I actually completely forgot that this drops superior versions, so this could also be a good way to get a heart or, well, better drops. Well, let's see. I'm not in this one, though. Ooh, we get a missed battle stuff. There we go. Another collection log slot. Is that a task? It is. Nice. That's really good. Any free tasks like that, we will absolutely take. 80 points. There it is. Leaf bladed sword on the floor. That's going to be a task as well. And that's defeating 10 superiors for 80 more points and nothing crazy on the loot. And that is actually another task that I think is worth doing, some skeletal wyverns. Uh, I think I need granite legs from this and yeah, let's go ahead and do them. All right, apparently that was also a task to kill a skelly wyvern and I'm just safe spotting them because I don't know how this behaves without a shield. This task is actually not too bad. Some good drops would be magic logs, rubies, and then obviously adamant bolts. Adamant bar, stuff like that, decent. I'll see what other tasks we get, and uh, if it's not something we're currently interested in, we're just gonna move on to more point tasks. We're only 1.7k away. But I cannot be saying no to basilisks, because if we get a need is not face guard drop, well, that's a bunch of points, and uh, the drop is much increased on slayer tasks, so we are definitely doing this one. And that's the first task, and apparently it's like a combat task as well. But there is 40 more points, and obviously we're hoping for that rare Basilisk jaw drop. Ooh, wait, they have superior version. Hold up. Basilisk Sentinel. Surely this guy drops it. Okay, let's take a look. Nothing. 
If you were wondering if the Soul Stealer Relic can sustain me here, it can. I don't need no prayer potions, I can pray protect from magic and annihilate and I'm perfectly fine chilling here. I love this relic, it's uh, it, it, I don't know, it makes playing so chill. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy it. Okay, surely, 89,000 XP and we get... Clue scroll. Okay, let's see what we get from this one. Again, nothing much, but we're up to 84 Slayer now. Back to Kurasks, and after this task, we will be 85 Slayer, and that is where a lot of points can happen from killing Abyssal Demon, Abyssal Sire, equipping Abyssal Whip, lots of free tasks there. That's kind of my goal as to what we're going for at the moment. Superior Kurask, nothing. Another Superior defeated, four coins, and another one. Nothing. Well, 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 a Daganov Slayer task. I've been waiting for this one, but I guess before going, I'm just gonna quickly get myself some Dragon Boots, uh, simply because I know it's a very fast task. Ah, there we go. I figured when we would get those things, but where did I get them? Oh, there we go. Dragon Boots, pretty easy to get. Took me a little bit of time though, but 80 points very easily. Let's see if it works now. <clears throat> That's one done. And if I can kill this as well, that should be another one done, because I kill all of them in a very quick succession. And I think I got 200 points for something, I think I just did the combat achievement stuff. Okay, the next one I'll be going for should be fairly simple, we're just gonna pray, go back, and just focus on- This guy was being attacking by both of the other ones. And now for the next tasks, I basically just need to get a rune throwing eggs drop, which might take a little bit of time. But after that, we just focus on getting KC, which uh, should be pretty nice and simple. So there we go, that worked, very nice. Okay, and another one is, he needs to be frozen. There we go, that hit instantly. And now I just uh, need to kill him whilst frozen. That's 86 Slayer, and that's another task completed. I mean, these are pretty chill, pretty simple, to be honest. Hey, and there is 99 hit points. I honestly didn't even know this one was coming. Uh, but we'll take it. And that's another Dragon Axe at the same time. Nice. Let's see if they both... Ooh, slightly unlucky. But if we keep trying, I think it's gonna work. Oh, so close, man. Why is this so hard? Damn it. Oi, Sears Ring. Whilst I'm trying to still do the challenges. Nice. And that's gonna be a little bit of a task as well. Sick. Come on. Don't milk it. Ah, oh, you fuck. One HP, man. Oh my god, I hate it. There we go. Jesus, that was annoying. Alright, we did it, we did it. That's what matters. Okay, so right now, we've done all of the tasks, really, that we can do. And from here is just kill count and hoping I get a rune throwing eggs drop so I can do the last combat achievement. But other than that, we've basically done everything, which is... Uh, it's, it's good feeling, man. It's nice. It didn't take me too long, it wasn't too annoying, so now we just hope for some good drops. Hey, that is 10 uh, kill count on the Supreme. Oh, and we got a circle, hold up. Pretty sure that's a task. There we go, just getting points on the DKs right now, it's beautiful. And that's Dagonoff Adept, that's 25 KC. I basically need to get all the bosses to 25 kill count. Uh, this one's mainly due to us coming here pretty early game, when we were only able to do Rex and Prime. Uh, but right now we can comfortably do all three. And uh, yeah, this is what I mean. I never really need to have any prayer on me. And uh, I hit pretty comfortably. And I can just TP home and come right back because I went into normal instance. If you go private instance, you cannot use crystal memories. So uh, that's what we're doing. Ooh, dupe Sears ring. Damn. All right, well, that's not what we wanted. But <laughs> okay, literally any other rig would be better, man. Oh, yes, I got rune throwing axes. I've never been more excited for a drop in my life, bro. This is like my only way, aside from ninja implings, that I can get these. And I need them for a combat achievement task. Oh, that's great. Okay, so this should, in theory, be simple enough. Uh, let me go. Okay, that's a good start. And that's it, I think. Eh? It didn't work. Why did that not work? I clearly did it. Hey yo! Okay, should I try to hit it once? Let's see. Might regret this. No, it's a bit... Okay. Yeah, that was a good idea. 
we go under, we click this, go this style, and then Rex. And that bounced. That 100% bounced. Hey, let's get it. We did it. We did it. Huge. And I got Skeletal Top, which uh, is also a task. If you were wondering why I picked up the hides earlier, it's to complete this task. One is to equip full Skeletal and one is to equip... I don't know, something similar, so you can make it with the Dagon of Hides, but I'm happy because at the moment, right now, we finished every possible task there is, aside from the kill count tasks. So, safe to say, right now we just killed 25 of each, we've green logged the combat achievements, and then, well, we just hope for drops and move on, like, we're gonna be on the next relic today, it's gonna be sick. And here's another Dragon X. I kind of want this to be shining. I think uh, it is a shame that the price of Dragon X is so low these days. But this is such a signature item, I feel like. It's a shame not to be shining, you know what I mean? Hey, there's another 200 points coming out of nowhere for getting 35 million range XP. Very good, 750 points to go. If we just get a little bit lucky here, we're gonna be almost done. Hey, there's another Dragon X. I think that's number four. No way, by the way. Completed all Dagonoth King achievements, 200 points, and I get the best possible drop for our account, Archer's Ring, at the same time. That is crazy. Oh my god. So now with the Archer's Ring, I only need the Rex KC. Like, literally, all I need, Warrior Ring and Berserker Ring. But look at this, 470 points, and if I just went for, let's say, uh, Abyssal Demon Task and Abyssal Whip, that would already complete it. But I do kinda wanna finish DKs. I wanna get both of the rings left from DKs, since it's also my Slayer task. I'm not, like, losing time, so to say, right? The only time I am losing, technically, is the fact that uh, I don't have five times drop rate, I have four times drop rate, and if I were to go to the next Relic, I would then have five times drop rate. But yeah, this guy didn't drop it. I think I might just kill one more, and then go imbue my Archer Ring, and then do other tasks to finish this Relic, and then eventually, come back okay i have decided i am going to be skipping tasks until i get an abyssal demon task and i will go all the way to the next relic right now i think the time is now but first we're gonna imbue our archer's ring so here we are at our favorite place, Mr. Nomad from Soul Wars. And if I look at imbues, I can go ahead and imbue it for only 260 tokens. I will definitely do that. I can also put some more experience in. I haven't done it, uh, the daily today, so let's just put 500 of this in and see how much it actually uses. 1978 down to 1660. So that was a prayer XP up. But now I have so many of these tokens that I feel like I kind of want to open a bunch of chests. I mean, I might as well, right? If I get any sort of essence, it's like really good for us. We buy 20 for 600 tokens. I will still have a thousand left over and I can get bolts. I can get a pet. I can get pure essence, which would be amazing. I can get a lot of good stuff here. So let's just uh, click through it. And I can already see some beautiful things here. Okay, so firstly, we got diamonds, then we got a lot of rubies, then we got a lot of runite bolts. No adamant bolts in this situation, but I don't really need adamant bolts anymore. So that is very good. Oh, and I also got pure essence, which I didn't see. And now we have 10 more. And we get adamant bolts, so if we need more bolts, we got that option now. I was really hoping I would see a pet following, but look at this, 12,000 more pure essence. I actually think I have so much pure essence right now, 30,000. I don't know if that's enough for 99, but it could be, and we might go and do that super fast. Uh, but first, I'm gonna try and skip for an Abyssal Demon task. <laughs> Alright, I wonder how long this will take to skip through. Could the Vorkath. Oh, that was almost instant. Only skip two tasks, and we already got 124 Abyssal Demons. Let's hope we get a whip from this, and it's gonna be all the points we need. Let's go. So I tried to kill an Abyssal Demon earlier, but it didn't work, and then I read again, and yes, you do need to kill these on task to get the points. But the best part is, I'm hoping to see quite a lot of elites from this, uh, but as you can see, 200 points for this, this is like really amazing, by the way. Oh my goodness, we're absolutely spooned, there comes the whip! Boom! Nice, alright, and look at this, 70 points left, but I have the perfect thing I wanna do to finish off today's grind. And we're gonna finish it off with another 99. Let's get it done. Ladies, gentlemen, my favorite place in the leagues. Good old pest control. And this is where I'm gonna be finishing off our tier 8 relic. By simply going to the exchange void knight 
and let's go ahead and finish our magic so 844k xp for this please tell me i have enough i think i do and now we're missing just a few 10 pulls 10 10 10 don't do me like that okay there we go it's enough it's enough and bang, just like that, another 99 on the account, and we can now unlock the tier 8 relic. And so, the question on everybody's mind, what relic are we going to take for the tier 8, the last relic, the full power of the account is going to be unlocked? Let's first off analyze which relics I took, which ones I maybe regret, and which ones I don't regret. So it's a bit of a ramble to end the video off. First off, do I regret taking Endless Harvest? The answer, no, not at all. I really like it and I've taken it almost every league because there are times in a day when I can't be on PC and look, I got 99 fishing, I will probably go for 50 million fishing. I will get 99 wood cutting, I will probably go for 50 million wood cutting, right? So just by that itself, in the long run for me, it's worth it. However, seeing other people pick trickster, seeing the thieving easy 99 or easy 50 million thieving with all the money it provides, with all the utilities you get by getting passive agility XP as well, Trickster seems like a super good option as well and at the very start of leagues I actually thought I would go Trickster but then I changed my mind like the last second uh, but again both of these I'd be fine with second option Fairy Flight 100% happy with this Globetrotter kind of useless uh, because I can just put Nexus in my house and that's it third option banker's note by far my favorite relic i would never change it for a fire sale even if everything is free throughout the course of the league we're gonna get so much money that we're gonna be able to afford all the buyable skills anyways right all the buyable tasks are gonna be easy so banker's note all the way third one archers so fun i absolutely love archers i believe all of the three are very viable probably melee one is like the least useful at the moment but man, do I love the archers. Then the next one, Treasure Seeker, my absolute favorite. I would not change it for anything. Always go Treasure Seeker. Right here going Ruinous Power. It's an absolute blast. I love these spells. If I went Zia, I would go with Farmer's Fortune. I would never go Equilibrium. A little bit of extra XP. Who cares? So this one's nice, but the Ruinous Powers have proven to be very good DPS increase for us. On this one, yeah, everybody going Berserker. Every single person going Berserker or Weapon Master with a Zarite crossbow. However, again, I've used it now for all these challenges, all these combat achievements. I really like Soul Stealer. It is such a nice feeling. Almost never needing to click food, almost never needing like a prayer potion. It is super nice. And that leads us to this very moment where we need to decide between three absolutely broken relics here and the very end first one executioner this one is beautiful when the targets are below 20 percent hit points you just straight up execute them amazing for raids amazing for bosses all in all super useful let's go to the next one undying retribution oh my goodness this one is absolutely phenomenal upon triggering this effect you'll deal damage to all monsters or players that are two tiles away from you but when does it happen when you die so you get revived with full hp with full prayer points and you can kind of see where i'm going with my afk build right so i can fully afk use up my hp use up my prayer i happen to die oh well we're now back to full hp and full prayer so let's talk about the last one as well the guardian the thrall you can summon this guy or girl and he basically just deals damage follows you around and for 30 minutes super useful again uh, but i do plan on doing a lot of warcraft and you cannot summon this guy inside warcraft so that's one of the things that are also leading me to this undying retribution. But let me talk about why I'm going to pick this. The main reason is I'm going to be doing a lot of content that I'm unfamiliar with, that I'm still learning on. TOA final boss, I don't want to go 30 minutes through the entire raid and then die on the TOA. I don't want to do Awakened Leviathan and then die on the super like insane phase, right? There's so many times where I feel like this will just be so useful for me. But then if you think about it, the Awakened Leviathan, I could just execute it with the X, right? So it's definitely three good options, but we are gonna be going with Undying Retribution. Let me just make sure that this is exactly what I need because I don't wanna mess this up. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one, Undying Retribution. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be unlocking it. There it is. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And this way, we've now unlocked all the relics.
As always, it has been my pleasure to have you on the video today. If you guys enjoyed it, perhaps give the video a like, maybe even leave a comment. And if you want to help me the extra step, just check out the Jawa. They were kind enough to sponsor today's video. Click the link in the description. Just scroll through their site a little bit. Give the site a shot. I really appreciate them for sponsoring the channel. And I really do recommend you guys to check out the site. I think it's really good. That being said, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.